Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading Scorpio. In this reading we'll be focusing on your person, their feelings, their actions towards you, their intentions and also we'll take a look at your connection. This reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus as well. So in case if this reading doesn't resonate with you and I truly hope but I am perfectly aware that it might not, please check your placements and check the other readings, okay? As you might find there some interesting informations as well. Okay, let's start Scorpio, let's start. Could you please show me, and Scorpio of course, what a person would like to confess to them? Scorpio's person, what they would like to confess to them? We have you were the best thing in my life. I feel you leaving me behind. I wish I could take back my words. I am becoming a better person at the bottom of the deck. Okay. And let's pull some more cards. Could you please show us what Scorpio's person would like to confess to Scorpio? Please. We have I miss you. You are in my dreams and at the bottom of the deck we have I was wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's move those cards. Well, Scorpio, someone here is very regretful. Your person with whom we are connecting today, they are very regretful about something and I do feel that they said something there was a situation, you might have an argument, <coughs> excuse me, or something that caused dissatisfaction and disappointment, especially at your end. And they want you to know that they were wrong. I feel what they told you. There is this energy of this person admitting as well that you are very important to them. There is this, I feel, sudden real realization of their feelings and your person, how significant you've been to them. I feel, Scorpio, that uh, it might be a no contact situation or you just said enough, it's enough. And I feel that your person feels uh, you kind of um, being detached, distance, or there is a barrier create, you know, between the two of you. They are very much miss you. They are missing you, and they are dreaming about you. Very regretful. I wish I could take back my words. I was wrong. Yeah, they did something here that they are very, very heavily regretting. Okay, let's take a look at your person, Scorpio. Could you please show us with whom we are connecting today? Could you please show whom Scorpio is connecting today? Could you please show Scorpio's person? We have King of Pentacles. So you might be dealing with an earth sign, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's see, could you please show us more about Scorpio's person? We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have a page of wands. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Scorpio, uh, you, you know, um, we might be connecting here with someone who has attachments, okay? The devil, it's a very, very difficult energy indeed. Next to King of Pentacles, I feel that your person, it can display those sort of kind of behavior. Uh, momentarily, they might be even unhealthy. So I feel that they really like being in control. Okay, this is someone who likes to be in control, who likes to be in a position of power. 
and they might even have a tendency to be a little bit too much you know in control this is a, some, some some kind of a uh, <laughs> energy of control freak I feel that your person is very possessive they can be very jealous they can also I feel be very very charming they know exactly how to use the words they are very attractive they they you know they might appear as someone who's very irresistible they have you know qualities it, it might be about their looks and even about their personality that it's pretty much irresistible with this devil energy and king of pentacles but I feel that your person is uh, they are they like to have control this is this energy of this is my way or no way attitude and if something goes in a, comp in, in a complete opposite way uh, they might kind of try to manipulate the situation this is a bit bit of a manipulator kind of uh, archetype presented with the devil Scorpio this person is obsessing <laughs> they indeed thinking about you they are dreaming about you they are missing you but they are already attached i feel that they can also have this sort of kind of um, unhealthy ways you might be dealing with someone who has some addictions as well with the devil but mainly i do feel that we are dealing here with someone who's very stubborn very stubborn they have a problem with compromise and that creates problems that creates problems so uh, immediately i feel that scorpio you're dealing with someone who might be quite challenging or who might even create those sort of challenging situations and the way that they attitude just you know projected um created really i should have said created uh, difficulties with the page of wands this person is thinking to uh, to contact you page of wands it's a card of communication you know i also feel scorpio for some of you that during you know your connection with your person i feel that maybe your person especially with the devil in the page of wands this person might have be in touch with other people as well and that really kind of wasn't right okay let's take a look let's take a look at your connection with your person Scorpio let's take a look at your connection with your person could you please show Scorpio connection with your person we have eight of wands we have four of cups and we have four of swords mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yeah i scorpio i feel that you know at the moment uh you might be but indeed there might be indeed a no contact situation with the four of swords i do feel that you are especially you I feel Scorpio you are healing you are healing you are healing I feel that you are taking your time in order to kind of uh, think this situation through and they feel it they feel it they feel they feel you're dis disconnecting from them and that's why they are obsessing because I feel that they no longer have influence they don't have a control in here the four of cups shows uh, that something wasn't satisfying you in this connection as much as things things look good I feel that at some point that wasn't enough I do also feel Scorpio that this person display the attitude that no matter what you might have done or how much you cared or how much you tried to make the situation better it was never good enough for them that kind of feeling because she's holding a cup she's very much preoccupied here because she wants to make him happy but this individual looking at this three of cups which is in tarot 
a card of celebration, happiness and joy, right? The three of cups. He is still not satisfied. He is, he is discontent. This, he is disappointed, whatever the case might be. And I do feel that you tried really, really hard, Scorpio, to make the situation better, to, to make them feel really, really good. I feel that you were the one who were compromising all along or in order to make them feel good but it wasn't good enough for them or they might make you feel that it's not that wasn't good enough for them because I feel that we are dealing here with someone who who is quite manipulative they're acknowledging the fact that you are the best thing in their life but did they communicate that to you Did they make you feel that way that that you were this is in the you know subconscious this is this is what they would love to express to you and the thing is that i don't feel that they did i feel that that made you feel <sighs> kind of tired disappointed unhappy momentarily i feel just not good enough which 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 in reality reality was completely different of course you you are good enough and they know that but they wasn't fair here i feel the thing is that this person very 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 much regrets the way they acted and the way I approached that situation i feel you healing here scorpio from this disappointment with the Eight of Wands, I do feel that, you know, both of you would like to hear from the other. As much as you do presenting yourself here, Scorpio, as someone who's taking time, who's trying to heal, maybe even not wanting at the moment this person to come forward, I feel that, you know, you might be thinking about them, about this situation. They are trying to convince you that they are becoming a better person. We'll see. We'll see. But there is this admission that I was wrong. I wish I could take back my words. They hurt you. They said something which wasn't fair. They did something which wasn't fair. And the consequences, you know, were that you pr most probably, I'm sure, wanted to, de to detach, wanted to heal. Eight of Wands shows that there is a big passion between the two of you. Or oh, your connection was very passionate, was very, very uh, emotional. I think that emotions were really high. But it also shows that sort of energy of inconsistency. Something was inconsistent here as well. Let's see your person's feelings. Could you please show Scorpius person's feelings? we have high precious can we see scorpius person's feelings for them we have eight of cups and ten of wands oh yes they are thinking about you they are missing you they are very much reminiscing about this this feeling that they have that you are leaving them behind eight of cups is a card of detachment it's a card or which which is saying that someone decided to walk away in order to find happiness in order to find peace someone left the situation because it it didn't satisfy them anymore and i do feel very very much that your person is thinking about it and they regret this ten of wands is a cut of exhaustion this is heavily waiting on them they are stressed they are worried they it's just the, the, the amount of feelings and I feel guilt it's just overwhelming in their feelings to you maybe you know <laughs> you were dealing with someone who thought who is a bit of a player with that devil and thought yeah well it was great and blah 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 but as soon as the, they felt the absence of you and you not being around them they started to understand oh right well 
I actually miss Scorpio. I actually thinking very heavily about Scorpio and they sat down and they kind of, you know, had this uh, conversation with themselves and said, well, I should not have said what I said. I was completely wrong because this person, because Scorpio was actually probably the most kind and, <clears throat> excuse me, loving person. And now I feel that, that they are leaving me behind. Mm -hmm. They are very much thinking about this. They feeling it. They don't want it. You might be dealing with Pisces here, Scorpio. Um, the high priestess is saying that this person is trying to listen to their intuition. The intuition is telling them something in their feelings. You know? I feel that there is this... <laughs> There is this kind of, I, this is karma. <laughs> this is, this is, this is a divine, you know, this is, this is a spiritual team. This is spirit. It's just, it, it just, this is that kind of energy of you going to think about Scorpio and you need to think it very, very, have a big and long, you know, think what have you done to them? That's energy I'm getting. That they can't have, that they can't find really peace of what might have happened between the two of you. And guilt is very much attached to it. Okay, let's take a look, Scorpio. Their intentions. Let's see your person's intentions towards you. We have a King of Cups. We have a Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Scorpio, with the King of uh, Cups and Knight of Pentacles, this person has feelings for you. They do. They love you. They might, you know, appear very composed and they might be, you know, posting certain things and you might feel, well, this person doesn't care about me. No, 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 no. They do. In their in they intention is they want to reconcile with you. They do. They do. Because they, they, they have feelings for you. With three of cups. They want to come, you know, come together. And they want to bring joy and happiness to the situation. Let's see your person's actions towards you, Scorpio. Let's see Scorpio's person's actions. We have a page of swords, we have a eight of cups, and we have three of wands. This person is heavily spying on you and they will continue doing that in their actions. Page of swords, it's a, it's a card of gaining knowledge. It's a card of keep on taps on someone so if you are posting something on social media or if you have a common friends this person is heavily interested in your life what you're up to how you're doing you know with who you're hanging out or you know just 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 in general about what you're doing in your life so be aware of that with the page of swords i feel that this person is gaining they 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 courage and they do want to communicate because page of swords is also a card of communication. This is a small because pages are potentials, so it might be something like. You might I feel, Scorpio, that in their intentions they do want to reconcile. In their actions, they still feel unsure how to approach you, because we have eight of swords. So eight of swords is a card of blockage. This is limitation. They feel trapped. Or, you know, they feel trapped, feeling unable to move or change the situation. The thing is that it's just a perception. It is like a mental imprisonment, just, just, just imposed on themselves. This is, this is a mindset which, is, which can be changed very quickly. And then with the Eight of Swords, they, they, just, they, they, they are scared. They are scared to, to, to kind of, you know, con to come forward because I do feel that you will confront them quite rightly so 
Three of Wands, this person sees the expansion. They, they are trying to manifest you in their actions. So what I will tell you, Scorpio, I do feel with this Page of Swords opening this small mini spread, I feel that they might, for instance, uh, kind of send some sort of uh, like a high or how are you doing? Something very small, but you will heal from them. But with the Eight of Swords and Three of Wands, they will be very much waiting on you to take initiative okay they will make the first move but later on i feel they will be expecting you to to kind of take over the conversation or you know write to them back again or things like this okay let's see an outcome let's see an outcome for you and the, your person scorpio Could you please show Scorpio an immediate outcome for their connection with their person, please? For the near future. We have the magician mm -hmm. manifesting Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck. We have the death card. I was thinking actually if we'll have the death as an outcome, but it came as an overall. Okay. Scorpio, this is your energy. Um, we have Gemini. So magician as, a, as an immediate outcome or outcome for the very near future. It seems that things will be changing. This person is trying to indeed manifest you. I do feel that they will come forward, that they will communicate something to you. You will have a conversation or you will meet up. Something will happen. Something will change here with the magician. This is a major arcana. Uh, so something indeed will happen here for the all so you can if it's a no contact situation you can expect things to to change death as overall energy and we have above i am becoming a better person your person subconsciously wanted to, to, to communicate to you that they are trying to work on themselves and with the death card which is a card of a major transformation and transition I feel that indeed they are trying to do that. Are they trying enough? Mm, I don't know. I can't tell you. They still are in a devil's energy. So they might be working, let's say. But if, if they are there, I feel that there is a bit of a longer, longer road to, 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 to go for them so it might really need time but 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 the willingness is there indeed the death card here also as an overall energy shows that when this person will come forward and it seems that they will you'll have to make a decision you will have to make a decision if you really want to cut this connection cut the road as it is presented here you see and leave it you know behind you and that's it because we also have two doors one door is closed so the the the, the, the main message from this card is with, with regards to your overall connection is that as when this person will come forward you will have to make a decision with yourself if you want to repeat the cycle and start a new beginning with them and walk through with them through this open door or if you decided that you don't want to repeat the cycle you don't want to give this person another chance you are good as you are and that's it so i feel scorpio that you at some point will have to decide if you want this person to be present and in your life once again and give them another chance or if you decided to just move on and leave it in the past so it is very much it will be you know up to you but things are changing things are transforming so you can expect uh, a certain change with regards to your person and your connection 
Thank you very much for being with me, Scorpio. Please like, share and subscribe. I truly hope that this reading was of help and I wish you all the very best. Once again, thank you very much for being with me and take care. Bye.